Hello everybody, welcome to the fourth run it down. If we don't run it down, then it's not G2. How you guys doing? Jankos and Caps. Oh, I'm doing great. Last time I was on the show, I was with my boy, my support, my cutie pie, Mickey X. Now I'm with my AD carry, uh, as we are practicing our synergy to gank bot lane every game. Yeah, it feels pretty good. We've been ganking bot a bit more, so... <laughs> so you guys had, uh, you know, there's LZ going on, which is important, but there's something even more important going on which is Valorant, of course. Have you guys tested, tested the game? Because I know you have you have accounts. No. So there is only one person actually who did, and it's obviously Wunder. Of course. Um, because, you know, he's playing WoW, Magic, and <laughs> of Valorant, not really. Yeah. So um, I think that I would like to play the game at some point because it seems fun. It seems like CSGO, so I would prefer that game over like some other FPS games. Yeah, I, but... hate, I hate Battle Royale. I yeah, really exactly. Do. Same, same. So I think we will have maybe some fun with it. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure me and Luca would try it. Okay. Not sure about Caps, but just after playoffs. I, I think this is the wrong yeah, time yeah, to course. do it. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not like the biggest fan of like first person shooters. Like, I never played like a lot of them. Uh, I mean, I played it like, I think it's fun. Maybe we could play like if together because I always played like with friends. But I never like played online because it, it felt boring. Then you just like walk around and you just get like shot randomly and <laughs> and then you're dead. But it's fun when you played with friends. I felt like back in back when I was like a kid and we were just. We have to awesome. play a, a matchmaking game when you guys are able to play it. We have to play together. We we play with the CS:GO team and one of the Rainbow Six team. It was really really fucking fun. It was really really <laughs> fun. I loved it. But so, aren't they like supposed to be like really good at FPS games and we are like kind of. Dude, they they <laughs> are they are. But you know what <laughs> I'm realizing by the way. I'm realizing that I'm a fucking machine too. <laughs> the League of Legends player is also a machine at that game because it has like Maybe magic we should, and we should shit. Make the League team against the CS team. Actually, yeah, yeah we, should, we should do that. That would be really fun. Maybe you shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, I, I I like the optimism though. Uh, we can maybe mix the teams a bit. <laughs> but I, I so after playing this week, uh, well, I'm sorry. After finishing playoffs. There's of course a lot of you know time in between, and whether that is you know Valorant, whether that is you know something else, what is it that you guys are looking forward to do? You know, when sort of the season is over, how do you think, you know, you you will like to reset or do something different? Well, personally for me, I don't really care. Um, my life is about league, right? And right now we can't do anything else besides league. Um, because, well, there's Corona around, so you can travel, mm -hmm. you can do anything. So yep. I would personally just, just like to win the split. Like, this is my goal as of like, I don't think about anything else. And after this happens, maybe, maybe there's a chance we can go home or maybe there's a chance we'll play other games or maybe like we will go outside more to like go for a run or something or maybe do home gym more. Like basically do like safe stuff. But um, I mean, nothing matters except for winning, right? So it's really hard to think about the future after next week because if we lose there's no fucking future there's <laughs> no fucking future that's it yeah I mean I, I think like normally that would always become a MSI coming up so we would like have to yeah, prepare, prepare for that but now there's like I mean there'll not be any MSI for for like before after, after spring split so basically we just have to yeah we I don't really know what we have to do we just have to prepare for summer split and uh, we probably can't go because of corona and I, yeah, I don't honestly don't really know what I will do myself. I mean, I'm just hoping that we win the split because else we'll just all be sitting here and we just all lost, <laughs> and that will not be very fun. So I think we will just try our best to win, and then we can probably just do anything, and it will be, it will work out. So, so more, more, more League of Legends related. So, where do you think the meta is headed? Because I'm seeing a lot of weird peaks. You know, I'm seeing, uh, I guess, Cassidy Mid sort of working. You know, Set Jungle, which is not really a new thing, but. But you know it is being played more and more. Zillion support. Um, now I see some of the jungle picks as well. Just I, I I read somewhere that it was like some fucking Zara jungle or something like that. It is, <laughs> so uh, how is that? Uh, how is the meta developing and changing? Mm, well, <clears throat> I think Riot is trying to make a lot of uh, weird picks viable. I mean, I think the set jungle is just set is a good champ, and yeah. if your top lane doesn't play it. Um, then you have to play it. So that's basically the case for Origin. Uh, but I think that 
when it comes to like stuff like Brand Jungle, Zyra Jungle, and whatever the Riot buffs, like they even buff like Garen Jungle, Darius Jungle, Talon Jungle. So I, I played all of this by the way because I have a YouTube channel, so I had to test all of this. <laughs> You're a content creator. <laughs> <laughs> so I think like all of them are like maybe like not as strong. I mean, for example, I think when Riot buff them, they buff them to like take the jungle camps away from the jungler instead of being a viable junglers. But I do okay. think Garen jungle has insane clear. So if you want to try Garen jungle with Talisman, it's like really dope actually. With and Yumi, crazy. let's go. Yeah, but um, I mean, I don't really know, right? Like whatever Riot does, we just have to adapt as pro players. We don't really care that much about what is meta. And I mean, like, I guess I'm speaking for myself because maybe Rasmus does because maybe he hates to play against champions like Malphite top lane. But for me, I don't really care about what the meta is. Just have to play whatever is good, right? Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing, right? We just like we played so many years now with like so different, many different metas, and I think like obviously there's like champions I like to play and like champions I like to play against. But at the end of the day, we just like want to try to see if we can win the split. And if that means that we'll play Teemo, then we'll probably play Teemo, right? Okay. So everybody yeah. is, in, and I did this interview with Riot um, before game one. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of mentions on Twitter as well about it. People are just bugging me over and over, which I don't care about, but I want to ask you about, about the fact that Fnatic, you know, beat Mad Lions 3-0 so easy. They're looking good, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and everybody's trying to compare 2020 Fnatic with, with you know, 2020 G2 with 2019 G2. So do, do you think that comparison can actually be made? And and if so, you know, what do you think about the comparison? Uh, well, I mean, you can always compare like things together. I guess I'm not really completely sure what you meant with like what what what's going on, but I think um, we can also say that or Fnatic like free one origin and we free one origin. <laughs> like if you actually just want to like look at uh, stats or like look at like a sample size of like one best of five versus one best of five, then you can get like some very fun results and you can get some very like biased uh yeah just results as well so i mean you can you can obviously go off of that because that's the only thing we have so far but um but yeah it's just not a very big sample size and i also think we like obviously improved a lot since last week and yeah. we we're looking to improve a lot this week so it doesn't really matter that much what people think uh it doesn't even matter if they were better than us last week because it's all about what's going to happen next week or like this upcoming week and uh i think we'll be better First we'll have to beat Matt, then we'll have to beat Fnatic. And if we do it, then it doesn't really matter what what, what so who true. was stronger a week ago or or if they were better than us last year and like none of this actually matters. So true. So true. What, what, so what do you think changed in your mindset in the week prior to Mad Lions versus the week prior to Origin? Um <clears throat> I just think that when we were to play Mad Lions, we thought that um well, for, first of all, scream change. Like when we lost to Mad Lions, obviously we, we had like a wake up call. And I don't think we necessarily treated screams badly uh, before the Mad Lions week, but for sure they were like not as good as they could be. And in the like week high, in leading, the high intensity and stuff? Uh, just, I guess, people actually trying to be better at the game. Because sometimes we play screams to win, and sometimes we play screams to like be better. and when we spoke about Mad Lions games, we had a clear points we had to improve on. And even though we necessarily didn't actually win more games uh, before Origin, then still the games we lost was because we were trying to practice things that we were bad at. So obviously we would still make mistakes, but that could lead into us making less mistakes against the Origin in, in, the, in the series. And, you know, it was visible that we were still making similar mistakes to Mad Lion games, but like way less of them. Um, and I think that we actually improved a lot, a lot throughout one week. And if we can keep it going uh, for the next week, I think we should be able to uh, probably catch up to both teams or even like go further beyond. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, also, like, I think uh, normally we like the last like a lot of splits and we also go on like four times in a row now. And I think... Uh, every split has been like, it's been like, uh, I mean, we've just been really confident going into playoffs. It, I've always felt like no one could really like stop us or like challenge us. Um, and I, obviously that didn't really turn out through the split. I think Mad Lions, as Yanko said, like kind of like, they kind of like made us realize that we're not as good as we think right now. Um, I think we, we just 
took that as like a <laughs> as a lesson to be learned then we just practice like really really hard to to be ready for the next week because if we can't beat mad lines then like we have very low chance of winning the split because even if mad lines beat us and that, that would somehow make them good they, at the end of the day they're like they were like finished the fourth place uh so yeah we just realized that we have to beat origin who finished third we have to beat mad again and then we also have to beat Fnatic. So there's a bunch of teams we have to beat, and if we can't even beat Matt, then like we have no chance against the rest. Yep. Um, so we just, you know, make sure that we are at a much higher level. Uh, this split will not be won easily. Like even now, we still have to win two best of fives and like back to back and within two days. But uh, I believe we can do it because we want to do it, and we will put in the work to to just become so much better than than both of them. I have to do it. it. It was nope. like a good thing because he had a speech. He had a speech, you know. So after Fuck. the speech, is like, no! Yes! Why did that happen? <laughs> the fuck happened, Jankos? <laughs> fuck! I mean, he had like a, he had a really good speech. I need a heads so up to, for that kind of shit. I had to like, a, I had to like finish it, you know. I need a heads up for that kind of shit. <laughs> fuck! You stunned me. Still not there, Jankos. <laughs> like my my mind is blank right now. <laughs> thank you, Jankos. Fucking thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so do you think in our first series against Mad Lions, if there wouldn't have been a lower bracket, a different G2 would have shown up? And the reason I ask this is because, I mean, I know you guys, but I don't know the ultimate truth, right? I know that you play better under pressure, that you're better when there is crunch time, so to say, when if you are gonna lose, the, wait, if you lose the game, you're out, if you win the game, you're in. Things like moments that are key, right? And then the best of you guys comes out. Uh, but I wanna hear from you what you th guys think. Like if there was no lower bracket, do you think you would have taken that week differently? Well, I don't know if anything is necessarily about like taking the week uh, differently. I think uh, everything is just different if there's no lower bracket, in the sense that we would be first seed, right? So before we like, like, I'm thinking back to now. Before there was like say a double, uh, like there was like a double bracket. Mm -hmm. There was like uh, we would see quarterfinals first, and then we would play against the lowest seed from quarterfinals coming into uh, semifinals. Which means that we might not even played mad. We might have played like the sixth or the fifth seed. Mm -hmm. And not only that, even if we played against mad again, we would have um, we would have seen like a full best of five of them playing, and we would also see another best of five of like just games being played and all this is like games that we can get like information on the meta they can get information on our opponents and that's like the thing about someone like us like we're really good at adapting i, see. Uh, I mean it's not like you just finish like at the top of the, uh, the league for like so many years and for so long time and even internationally uh, if you don't know how to adapt like it doesn't really matter what meta it is we will always be at the top and it's because we always adapt we see what other people do and then we choose like okay do we want to like copy it or do we want to maybe like find a way to counter it or do we just want to keep doing our own thing and we went into the, we were the first game of this like playoffs format which meant that we had just had to do what we thought was the best um, and we just had to play like blindly in that sense which I mean it it, it turned out like not great for us I guess um, <laughs> but yeah if we if we had more information then we would just be so much better because we don't have to just we don't have to be the best at innovating and finding like what's the best meta we just have to be the best at seeing like everyone's meta and then figuring out Adapting what's the best to like from there yeah exactly but uh, let's imagine there's no meta there's imagine let's imagine everybody understands meta equally or whatever right like do you think that um maybe in game maybe in the preparation i don't know exactly when but uh, if you lose you're out of the tournament versus if you lose you're in lower bracket do you think that the mindset of your of your team changes one way or another um i mean i do think that like you mentioned we do play better under pressure i think that if we were in a situation like a high pressure situation okay so how i see things is, is that i think we don't scramble under pressure compared to other teams so if you mm -hmm. ask me if we would win that series if that was you, like when, um, when you mean scramble that's scrambled x you mean crumble, right? Cra yeah, crumble. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's not so a scrambled X. We, we don't crumble under pressure as like as other teams could. So I think that when we are in a situation like that, um, we could basically play at the same level, but maybe other teams would like choke more or be worse um, on stage, for example. 
Uh, I mean, it's, it's similar situation where yeah, there is no lower bracket or it's a stage game. You know, like team like yeah. Mad Lions, they are a rookie team, so if they have people watching them, they could shit their pants. We won't because we are experienced so, yeah, and we played so many. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely better for rookie teams to play from home, right? Yeah, I mean that, that yeah, definitely right. And then it's similar situation is when yeah, there's loser bracket and winner bracket. Um, if there's no bracket at all and every game means you are out, that basically we won't give a fuck, like we won't care as much, but maybe mm -hmm. some other teams would. So maybe they'll just play worse and that makes us also look like we are better than we actually are. But okay. when it comes to like pure gameplay stuff, if we would have the same screams and the same, like the same, we would still treat like the, the stuff the same way, then probably we would still like play very similar, you know? Okay, I hear you. Okay, so let's go for fan questions and then we're gonna go for a couple of clips, okay? So fan questions, I'm gonna take one per platform. Fan question from Weibo. Oh, Weibo um, is Chinese, like is, is, is Asian fans, right? Yeah, Chinese. So we, we actually, by the way, we are the fastest growing, by far, um, Western organization in Chinese platforms. That's actually pretty progress. Even in the Chinese TikTok, in the Chinese everything, like everything, everywhere. So, like we're growing so fast. Anyway, um, question from uh, my husband is Shim Changmin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Caps, do you miss playing mid? Is playing AD carry more enjoyable for you or mid? Um, well, Be honest! Be honest. Obviously, I miss playing mid. There's like a lot of things that you can do on mid that you can't do on AD carry, which I mean, it's mainly like based around champions, I think. I think like. Um, I feel like there's like a lot less champions you can play in AD carry. I mean, obviously you can play all the AD carries, but like a lot of them you can also play mid. And then there's like extra champions. Um, so, I mean, that's like upsides and downsides, and there's just a lot of stuff I miss. Also, like jungle is very unbalanced, and I thought it was like unbalanced for mid, but it's like even more unbalanced for jungle. So, like, <laughs> and for bot lane, I mean, so yeah, if you get like, <laughs> if you get like trade sites on and you're just getting camped, then it's like not a very fun, fun time. But, uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, <laughs> I. I also enjoy AD carry when because you can get like you can get like pentakills and <laughs> you can get, and you can have like a, a support always like yo you should have gotten you. the second pentakill on um, on Aphelios man it's true yeah it's oh true. my god so much damage the chakras are broken <laughs> yeah and you can also play Aphelios like you never get away with playing Aphelios mid probably haha so. <laughs> chakra goes that's like, that's like that's like some fun times when you get to like six items <laughs> and you can just like one shot everyone <laughs> so insane. All right, question from, uh, this is from Twitter. Question from Esports Anthony. What is the most difficult part of screaming slash practicing that nobody outside of the professional scene knows about? This is a very good question. Uh, let's go for uh, Jankos, you go. Okay, that's a hard question. I, I, don't, I don't really know. Okay, let's go um... for Caps, Caps, Caps. Let's go for Caps. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I can also, like, I'm not really sure. I think the... <laughs> Maybe like the fact like that probably you, like... you, um, you do the same thing every day, but that's like with every work, right? I mean, it's just very difficult to play six games as a team, uh, full focused and actually like benefit from them. And the same thing goes for like solo queue because as pro players, you live in a gaming house normally and you don't really have like a lot of um, alone time, like a private time uh, where you actually do something else than play League of Legends. So. Even though we play, for example, I know from like 1 p.m. to let's say um, 7 p.m. screams, and then on top of that we eat, and then we like play a lot of solo queue after. It's very hard to make all of these games benefit you. And even though we play a lot, we don't actually like gain that much uh, daily. For example, I do feel like in playoffs where the meta is the same because the patch stays the same, we benefit way more as we can read the meta and adapt. Uh, but for example, throughout the split, it doesn't really feel like we are improving that much. Like there's some things you can improve on, but normally you just play to win and you don't really give a fuck about the patch because the patch will be different anyway uh, in the long run. So, um, I mean, it's not a really difficult thing, right? It's just like something that maybe not everyone thinks about. Yeah, also the biggest thing, like when I remember when I joined uh, LEC first was like, I, I mean, I just had really high expectations for everything. And it was like unrealistically high because at the end of the day, like I think everyone is everyone is like a human obviously and uh that means that everyone will have like bad days everyone will have uh problems with x y and z and 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 there will just always be like issues and problems and stuff like this so nothing will really be perfect and i i don't know why but now but when i joined i just like 
I just thought like the, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I just had like uh, really high <laughs> expectations, especially of like my teammates back then. I remember it was joining with like stuff like Reckless and Soas, you know, and stuff like this. Yeah. So uh, I just thought when it was like at a top level of, of, of esports, and that's or maybe the second highest level of esports, then <laughs> it would uh, it would just be like perfect in a sense. But at the end of the day, nothing is really perfect. Um, and you just have to make the best of what you have. And I think that's like, that was like a huge thing for me realizing. Actually, I think that's like a fair point. And to add on that, then if you play at a low, low level, like just, you know, play with friends and stuff and they make a lot of mistakes, but you are like similar level and you don't like see them as much, but it's kind of the same in high, high elo or like basically when we play, um, even though I'm playing with like, let's say, uh, two best mid laners in, in, in Europe or something, then they are like still dirty inters when it comes to scrims, you know, like both of them still run it down a lot and same goes for me and same goes for everyone else, you know, everyone can have like a bad day or, or, or it's just like really dirty for some reason. I hear you. Okay. That's, that was a very good question. So another question from uh, Twitter, at they call me Lupo. Uh, are you working on getting Janko as a wife? so that you can win the world this year? Actually, that's a fair, fair point. Um, I think that's very important because... So, Carlos, I'm not sure you're aware. Um, you have a child, actually. So, good job yeah, on that. Yeah, I'm aware. Congrats, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but, like, I'm not sure if you're aware <laughs> that um, you have... Um, like, I think every year uh, since 2017, whoever won World Championship had a wife. So, Ambition had a wife. Oh, really? Apparently, Really? Yes, amb ambition had a wife. I think Rookie also had a wife. I'm not sure about that one, but I heard so. And also Doinby had a wife. And now, 2020, obviously, G2 Esports, we don't really... I mean, look at us. We are like a bunch of nerds, so no one is really talking <laughs> to girls anyway. Um, so basically, I, I'm not sure we can win Worlds. But there is a chance that me and Mickey will take it for the team. And... Uh, okay. Yeah, and then we'll maybe win Worlds. Okay. Wait, well, he's your what? Oh, he, yeah, I mean, wait, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, wait, he, he will be become wife. your wife? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean, like, he's the support of the team, so he has to probably, like, even unwillingly, he, he probably would agree if we, if we could win Worlds, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he would have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's watching right now and he's like, oh. <laughs> okay. Another question from Twitter at Narox04. Jankos, after your recent Pantheon cosplay on Instagram, will there be more reference image? What the fuck is this image, bro? Uh, actually, that's a pretty good cosplay. I just <laughs> forgot to put like a b ball on my head or something as a helmet, you know? Um, but I I'm not sure if I will do more cosplays. Um, you know, there's cosplays like that and then there's cosplays like sneaky. So I, I don't yeah. know which Maybe you should, should try I... one sneaky one. Who knows? <laughs> Who yeah, knows? Maybe, maybe it's like a bad idea, but um, it's probably yeah, a bad I idea. mean, honestly, I think it was pretty funny. So, so maybe I'll try more. Yeah. All right. So emotes are finally able to be used in, in games. I actually saw that when you guys got the first blood, you had the game over emote, <laughs> which Right, all of all of all four of yeah. you. Yeah, it was. I think. I mean, I don't know if everyone had it, but I know me and Miki had it. And I think. I saw it three. I, I saw Jankos had okay, it. Okay, that one. was actually my idea, and I was the fa the OG game no, over emote that, in no, solo no, no. queue already, like when it came out. So I'm okay, just saying, okay. like, yeah, we did it see before he did it, but okay, maybe he did it in solo queue. Uh, I'm not keeping track of that. <laughs> thing, but. No, but it, that is a very that's a tilter right there. That's a tilter. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, Jen Jenko's face checks into four LMAO. This is how the clip is called. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, guys, so it's a trundle, uh, it's a like. Okay, so actually, it's a it's a fair point because um, so even in game we said that uh, you know they are camping in our jungle and I just didn't care and I face checked and I will I will have a sad nar emote after they kill me as well. I, I just popped a sad sad nar emote and then they will kill me and then I think as they start backing up I'll pop another sad nar. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I should probably not face check, right? In the hindsight. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Guys, people. what happened this game? I remember I was like, I knew, <laughs> like, I knew we were ahead. And like, what happened this game? Like, all of a sudden we started suiciding. Like, you just, like, perks with LeBlanc just went into their jungle like a couple times, died twice, and like, one minute. What happened there? Carlos, happy don't game? worry, um, you know, after each game we have to do analysis of the game and actually okay. I have the first game because I run it down the most when it comes to the, like, four deaths basically for no reason or three deaths for no reason. 
And uh, I can tell you that um, when we get ahead, uh, we get really cocky. And that game, we felt like it's won because it was won. And then uh, everyone started running it down. Um, like literally so a everyone. a happy game. Uh, it was a happy game, yes. But at some point, we realized that we can still lose. Um, and we had to clinch our asses um, or our bad cheeks, actually. And uh, we actually started playing the game after we died. Like, I think like Ezra died because he was basing and he said he could eat the Q. And then he didn't eat the Q really. Um, from Nautilus and then LeBlanc like tried to like make super play like three times and died so uh, and then obviously I ran it down three times and then um, yeah I mean basically we, we had a happy game uh, because after we took two inhibs it was unlosable so then I face checked so then I died and then team didn't wait for me and then uh, they died and then um, yeah we just kept dying so it was and then we tried to end even though we had three inhibs down and obviously we couldn't end because we didn't have HP and then they killed us again so I was at, it was it was happy, but then it turned into like a bit of a tilt game, okay. because you really like you hated the, like what the fuck is going on, you know? Like yeah, you yeah. have this feeling here, like what the fuck? Like is this solo queue or something? But then we actually like I actually got relatively tilted that one. <laughs> uh, this these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Walk me through it. Uh, I guess we oh we just went barren and this is like after we threw a lot, That's pretty so we were like a bit, That's pretty good. bit bit scared of like actually throwing the game. But we just went for the Baron, and obviously we're like still ten times stronger in fights. But uh, we just we just took like a bunch of four v fives, and we did like some one v fives and stuff. But when we actually five v five, it's like they can't really win the fight. Um, so basically, we just force Baron, and we also kill them all. Uh, and the first Penta doesn't first LEC Penta, no? Uh, yeah, that is my first LEC Penta kill. <laughs> there you go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, congratulations. Thank Very you. Very well deserved. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you open Alpha ADC caps? I think it's the potential penta that it was not a penta. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, 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 no, it's not. Is it? It is. It is. It is. It, it, is, is, yeah. it is. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. Yo, the damage is so broken. Look at this. Bam, 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 yeah, bam. So this is like kind of the same game, I guess. I mean, not quite, but we were like, we were also like just really farming for late game here. <laughs> hey, but like how fun is that? Yeah, I mean, it's true, yeah. They were just kind of winning the games. I mean, they were, like, getting the our inhibs and stuff, but we were just fine for, uh, for items, and then I got six items, oh and we had a silly god! Really it's, like, not very balanced, so... Yeah. I can finally backline. Usually, my backline and carry doesn't really work, but, like, when I'm backlining and behind enemy team, you know, but... Hey, that was still a... Still th on the team, then it works. He, he broke another... Pe Man, that was a penta. That was a penta, bro. That should have been a penta. Yeah, but I think actually, like, I mean, it's like, it was a bit unlucky, because I guess it's like a Cillian bomb, so it's like, you can't really, like, cancel it. Yeah. So maybe I should just have, like, pressed S, but, yeah. All right, you so, know. and we'll then... we get some, uh, some new ones next week. <laughs> there you go, there you go. I'm going to play one more, just hoping that it's good. Back-to-back -back solo kills, I think this can, can be good. Sounds good, at least. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Yeah, he was inting until this point. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was pretty good. Look at Bam. Okay. Oh, that was really Look good. at that guy. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> three levels Look at that. behind. The big boy. Can, can we just like point out everyone like how he was three levels down and just like absolutely one shot the mid laner? Like how how is that fair? How is how is the jungle? That's actually not fair. Uh, that's <laughs> actually pretty fair because, uh, well, first of all, my champ is good against Cassio. Second of all, he played ah, okay, me. Okay. Third of all, he didn't have my, like, I think that's, I think if he, that, if he Three levels behind, there, bro! Yeah, like, what? You just one shot. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Uh, you really got him good. Okay, okay, I'm pretty sure <laughs> if I run into him mid lane and he doesn't face check me and he hits the first Q, I'm just dead. But fine, yeah, I mean, guys, it's, 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 levels, it's, not balance. it's not balance, you know? Because, you know, AD Carry can just, like, uh, 1v5 in late game, but jungle cannot kill one guy in the early game. That's fine. Just don't worry about it. But, I mean, I think if it was three level, if you were level 10 and he was level 7, and you fetch checked him, he would never do this to you. <laughs> Fair That's point. Really but I think if he gets two <laughs> items and I face check him being three levels ahead, then it's, I still get one shot, but it's fine. Okay, okay. Anyway, so Jankos is wrong. Uh, <laughs> jungle is OP. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it, right? That's, that, that's pretty much all we wanted to talk about here. I that was actually yeah, yeah. dirty. How can you be three levels? I've never... I This is unheard of. 
Well, that's it's, okay. It's that's why jungle that roll is so useless because you get three levels behind while all, uh, doing everything you have to do for the game. Uh, first of all, second of all, I see that you are going with the a narrative that jungle is OP, Carlos. So I, I guess you are like really, you are really trying to make viewers like you, but the truth is, jungle is like really jungle like, is broken, really weak. So jungle is broken. <laughs> it's been it's been broken from like forever, no? Yeah, for like, like ten years. Like ten like, years. <laughs> And he's like complaining now. Oh, no, I have no, I can play also Darius and Garen and Zara and Brand. What a what a shitty role. Come on, dude. Wake up, you, Jack. The, the, the role the is so blood king. The first blood king. Have you ever heard of the first blood king AD carry? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, you know, uh, you swapped to AD Carry LOL like uh, three months ago and you already have your first Penta. I didn't have my first Penta ever on LAC uh, for six years. Wait, so, so you want first uh, blood? Maybe you want first blood to decide the fate of the game <laughs> early and mid game, and you also want pentas. All right. <laughs> it's fine, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I heard my role is not balanced. So I thought I can get everything, but I guess not. I guess it's just the early game. And the good. barons and the and the and the dragons and the rift heralds. You just get everything. Why not? The buffs. The buffs. Just yeah. go anywhere. Like if top top is winning, you just go top and like, oh, now I'm winning as well. It's yeah, I mean, I, you guys should like try to play jungle and be in a game. With G2 Esports, actually, especially okay. my team. <laughs> and uh, you try to fall behind in first 10 minutes of the game and then see what happens to your jungle camps. If you can actually get a single jungle camp from my solo laners and my ADK. I, I don't think, like, enemy team never choked me so badly as my team did. Okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. That's weird, right? Or like, sounds a bit like... I have that, but like Caps is like choking me every game and same goes for my mid laner and my top laner. I don't get like, you said b jungle gets buffs, but jungle really doesn't get buffs after the first clear. Uh, maybe like second red buff I can still get. And then uh, my like Raptors, Wolves, Gramp, yeah, it's not happening. Does it mean you always right? get second red buff in most, in most thirds as well? Oh yeah, yeah, second red buff, I mean, yeah. In most buff, thirds as well. And most what? Most thirds. Most thirds, maybe, yeah, maybe. That's true. But I might, I might trade Raptors and Wolves for that. But yeah. Okay, so it, okay, I might get the first bloods. I might decide the fate of the game early and mid game. I might get all the buffs until the third or so, except the second blue. But sometimes I do as well. Uh, <laughs> but but my role is is, is imbalanced. Also, he has red smite. Yeah, rest, under, rest my blue smite. Like that, then they're not. They are very balanced, you know. Yeah, like. It's fine, guys. It's fine. It's, you're right, guys. Jungle is so broken, man. I can't believe it. <laughs> you literally better, better. just what? You one shot it. With no, no, three levels fine, fine. below. Like, better jungle wins. So if we lose this weekend, you just have to kick me and find a better one. Maybe, you just maybe one like shot it. a plus three levels, mid lane, bro. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I understand. I understand where it comes from. I'm, I'm talking to two mid laners, so I understand, guys. It's fine. <laughs> Don't don't you worry, I, I get it. It it, oh, it hurts you because you it happened to you before. I I get it. Delusional man. <laughs> Delusional. Anyway, that was fun. That was fun. Thanks so much for uh, for being here. Thanks so much for um, giving us time and uh, best of luck against uh, the chat lions. Thank you. No, thank you. We will uh, try to run it down less. <laughs> <laughs> But also, we have to run it down a bit because else we can't do this. We show. can do the show. That's true. That's true. So I want to run it down the show next week. We need to run it down just enough. True. Okay. All right, guys. Then we run it down to RT1 and then press S. I like that. Say goodbye to the camera. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. -bye.